Hello to all of you bold, beautiful, brilliant, and highly evolved souls. I'm Davina, and today's topic is people-pleasing versus genuine caring. And so I've made a list here, and I'm just going to go through, I've got about, I don't know, several several differences. Um, as you probably know, people-pleasing comes from the shame-based self. It comes from being abused um, and having a trauma bond with someone. Um, and this is, of course, you know, if you're when you've been abused by a narcissist, you feel incredible fear and terror of abandonment and rejection. And this is the fear and the terror that that really drives the the people pleasing. And people pleasing is, you know, it was a really genius um, survival strategy that you um, took on. So, you know, it's just important to keep that in mind that um, you really had no other choice. You couldn't run, you couldn't fight. So, you know, fawning and people pleasing was really the only choice you had to survive that situation and that family. Um, and of course, genuine caring, on the other hand, comes from your authentic self. It comes from a place of feeling safe in the world, feeling belonging, um, feeling self-love, self-respect, and, um, and, and peace. Um, and so these are the, the two, you know, kind of contrasting, um, ways of being and um people pleasing is a is, is it's very painful you know um you know and it's you know it's it just come it's very painful to know that you're doing it once you become aware that you're doing it so you know as always be gentle with yourself um people pleasing comes from a place of you know the, along with this fear of rejection and abandonment is also you know like what will they think of me that's kind of the the background of it is like if they what well, if they think I'm you know they think I'm lazy will they reject me if they think I'm you know so we're always trying to like um, figure out what the other person might want and and try to you know mold ourselves to fit that um, that you know that that relationship and genuine caring on the other hand we have a, such a sense of a deep sense of security that um, we're not concerned about what other people think of us. And we're just like, um, well, I'm not there yet, but um, getting closer every day, um, you know, it's okay. You know, if they don't accept me, I know that somebody else will. And that I know deeply within myself that I'm worthy and that I am lovable. And so I'm, I'm not concerned with, you know, just, you know, if one job rejects me or one friend rejects me, I'm okay. I'm not going to fall apart. Whereas in, you know, people pleasing, it can be absolutely devastating to, to have that, um, that rejection or that abandonment. Um, people pleasing, what I've noticed is that I'm generally not really breathing. <laughs> it's like it comes from a very, you know, head up place. And, you know, when I'm genuinely caring and I'm, you know, I'm more like, oh, I can, I'm feeling my breath. <laughs> and so sometimes I say, if, if I'm not breathing, I'm people pleasing. And um, yeah, so generally, you know, if you're, if you're people pleasing, you're you're going to be ungrounded, dissociated because you're in fear, you're in fear and terror, and and you know you're you're just operating out of that survival place, and um, yeah, again with genuine caring, you're going to be centered, you're going to be grounded in your body, feeling, um, yeah, just that sense of inner um, security and balance. Um, people pleasing I've also noticed is tends to be like con comes from like an overexcited kind of mental place your thoughts might be racing like I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this for her and I'm going to do that and I'm going to can go like really um, really fast so I know when I'm in that place 
of, of fawning. I was just trying to meditate today. And it's like all these ideas for your videos were coming up. And I'm like, okay, that's more like a fawning rather than a, like, I just want to like give and, and it, it's, it's difficult, but, um, and, and then it can be mixed sometimes and that's okay too. Um, yeah. Versus, you know, the genuine caring where you have more balance, you know, calm mind, and um, yeah, I just think, oh, I think I'm going to help this person. And it's just like more, more in a balanced way, you know. Um, yeah, um, the next one is people pleasing is, of course, when you're overexerting yourself or overextending yourself, you're going beyond your limits of what you're humanly capable of doing, either physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, whereas genuine caring, you're helping within your own limits, within your own boundaries, you know, what you're able to do and you say no to things that you, you're not capable or, you know, or want to do. Um, so again, so people pleasing generally doesn't have boundaries or has poor boundaries and genuine caring has boundaries. And even within, um, you know, if you accept you know, some you someone wants to you need to help somebody, and you might say, "Well, yes, I can help you, but you know, I've got a appointment at four, so I can only help you until three o'clock or whatever." So within even the helping, you have boundaries around that. You know what you're what you can give. Um, people pleasing again. This is very similar, but you feel like you can't say. No, it's just like you autom automatically, sure, yes, I can do that. Sure, I can help you out. Yes. <laughs> um, and it comes on, sometimes it just slides right out. And I did this recently with my boss and I'm just realizing it. But I, um, she asked me to work a Friday and I normally don't work Fridays. And I said, yes, yes, I can do that. And then I'm thinking back like, no, wait a minute. So I'm going to have to speak with her about that tomorrow. Um yeah, you feel like you can't say no because it's coming from, again, that place of deep fear. Um, and a genuine caring, yeah, you can say no. Um, you definitely feel like you could say no if you wanted to. And um, I remember hearing a saying that's, um, that was like, you can't say fully yes until you say fully no. And I totally understand that now. Um, you know, you're if your people please you, yours, yes, really doesn't mean much unless you're able to say no. And if you can't say no to that, then, you know, you know, your yes is just compelling. You know, it's just, it's just a compelled obligation kind of yes. Um, and again, yeah, this idea of people pleasing this, it feels very compelling. It's very, it feels like an addiction. It feels like very like, oh, I gotta do this, must do this, you know? Um, and it doesn't, it definitely has that addictive kind of um, flavor or feeling about it. Um, and of course, genuine caring, again, you have a choice. You can do it. You can say no. Um, you have freedom in, in that because it's coming from your authentic self. Um, and the last one I think I have here is, um, yeah, so overall, you know, the people pleasing is driven by this deep, deep conditioning. And I'm realizing how deep <laughs> and just really strong this conditioning is. It takes time and a lot of healing and a lot of mental work, a lot of meditation. Um, at least that's what I've experienced in order to overcome this people pleasing this is not something that is simple or easy or quick to change it takes time and a lot of work um so yeah to get to you know the place where we want to be which is you know the authentic person who has lots of boundaries and and then you're you know you're free you're free from that that um that conditioning and that programming that, you know, that, um, that we had to have that we um, were pretty much forced into as children in order to, to live with a narcissist because narcissists don't want boundaries. They won't allow you to have 
your boundaries, your needs, your feelings. And so, you know, people pleasing is really the only thing you can do with a narcissist. There is no, um, there is no, you know, equals and authenticity and let's, you know, respect each other's needs. There's none of that, you know? So, um, it's just really important to know as you go through this, that you're, you're not a loser, um, you're not a failure, you're not pathetic because you're a people pleaser. You, this was, you know, um, something you did to survive through, you know, to get through that childhood. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. And, um, yeah, it is, as I said, a really tough thing to change. So have lots of patience and, um, it does change little by little. I hope you're finding that 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 is the case as well. And um, as always, if you have any comments, questions, or if you just want to shout out a hello and share your experience, I'm always, I um, always love to hear um, what you have to say. So thank you. I'm wishing you many, many blessings on your journey of healing and awakening. And I'm Davina at Boldness Blooming.